Hey, Ukraine Media family, Sergey Praknevsky here, and welcome to tip number 71. In today's daily tip, we're going to talk about a data file format called CSV. All right, so in the previous video, we talked about a data file format called TSV, and basically it stands for Tab Separated Values. I showed you how to create it using just a simple text editor. Today, we're going to talk about another data file format called CSV. And really, if you watched it, you know, the previous video, if you watched that, the concept behind it is the exact same thing. However, instead of separating values using tab key, we're going to use comma. So CSV stands for comma separated values. That simple. And again, we access information the exact same way. So let me kind of start at the beginning here and let's start, let's create a new CSV file. So we're going to go to this folder here. I'm going to right click and go to new and let's do new text document. So here it is. And I'm going to label it sample. Okay, and in the previous video, we talked about, you know, how to convert a text document into a TSV. And I told you to do this. I told you to do period TSV. In this case, I'm going to do CSV. However, that's not the right way of doing it. Even though it looks like that's the right extension, but that's still part of the name. It's not a, it's, it's still a text document. So let me show you the proper way to convert your text file. I'm kind of confused actually, because in our previous example, it worked. It acted as if it was a TSV file and everything looked just fine, but really it was a .txt uh, file. So that's why it didn't ring any bells for me. However, let me show you how to do it the right way. And I'm going to go to view and then options and then under view tab here, just make sure you go to this option right here. It says hide extensions. Just uncheck that and then hit apply. Okay. And so now you see that we see the real extension in here. So that's what you want to change. You don't want to change that. However, so let's undo this. Let's redo the whole thing. I'm going to say sample. And then in, instead of .txt, we're going to change the file format to CSV. Okay. So now when I click away, I'm going to hit yes. And as you can see, it changed the type and everything else. So it's working. And if you double click on it, it'll take you to Excel, uh, but I don't want to work in there. We're going to edit that inside of just a simple text editor, whatever text editor you have, I'm sure it'll work. So I'm going to go right click here and go to open with, and let's go to notepad. So something very simple. So right now it's obviously blank. There's nothing there. So let's create something. Again, we'll do the same thing we did in the previous example. So I'm going to say names, comma instead of tab we're going to say comma and then i'm going to do colors numbers remember yesterday we talked about how the first line of text is ignored so after effects will ignore it it'll be it'll be like the heading of each column so it's just a label that's all it is it, you, you can't access it you can't point to it so it doesn't have index so it's not even index zero so that's ignored. We don't just imagine it's not even there. So we use those as labels and underneath there, imagine these are columns, right? We're going to list things. So names, let's go with something like Josh and then color, let's do red and number 11. Let's do Jason blue and then five. Let's do Mark. Let's do pink and maybe like three and one more. Let's do Carrie green and number one. Okay, so essentially we have successfully created a CSV file. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it, Control S. And I think it saved it. Let's do it again just to make sure. Okay, so now I'm going to go here and inside After Effects, I'm going to double click and let's bring that in. So here it is. And as you can see, it lives in our project panel. Now I'm going to bring it into my timeline here and let's see if it works. So I'm going to collapse everything down. You can see we have a tab called names, colors, and then numbers. And as before, we can access all of this information. So the last one I think was Carrie, the last name was Carrie. You can see right there, but let me change, let me change the color and let me do another font. Okay, as you can see, there it is, it's working. Let's get rid of this. Let's try the first one, Josh. So index zero, one, two, three. So the exact same concept, the colors are the same and as well as the numbers. So everything is working well. All right, so now that we know how to create a CSV file, let's talk about how we can access it inside After Effects. So I'm gonna talk about two different methods. The first one is the most common one, 
and all you have to do is just bring that into your composition and then you can collapse everything down and kind of go to the property that you want. You just want to make sure that the data type matches because obviously source text property supports strings and by strings I mean text. So because both of these match, I can pick whip to any of these and as you see, it gives us a string which is a text, right, mark. So that works. So you just basically pick whip to the property that you want and it's that easy. However, if you get rid of the CSV file from your timeline, the expression will break and that can be a problem. The second method is a bit more complicated because you do need to understand expressions just a little bit more. And we're gonna use a method called data value. And if you've seen previous video, you've seen me talk about this. So all you have to do, just pick whip to that text file in our project panel. And now in the source text property, it wrote a path to this text file. So we're going to keep going here. I'm going to say period, and you can write it out, or you can just go here and go to footage because it's a footage. And then you can go to a method called data value. Okay. And inside of these parentheses, you have to type the path to whatever property that you want. So obviously we haven't decided which property or which text or which element we want. So let's go back to the text document. And in here, let's pick one. Let's do this blue. I want to point to this blue word. How do I do that inside of this data value method? Pretty simple. So to write out our path to it, we have to use square brackets. So open and close square brackets. And the reason why we do it because it's gonna be an array and we write arrays inside of square brackets. Let's go back to the text and let me kind of explain how we're gonna arrive at that blue word. And it's very simple. It has to do with index values. So it's gonna have two numbers. So we start at the left side of, basically imagine all of these are columns, which they are. And the first thing you need to do, the first stage is to decide which column your element lives in. So is it in the first one? No, in the second one. So it's a color, so it's gonna be in colors. All right, so the first stage will be uh, index number one, because index we start at zero. So it's zero, column zero, one, two, and so on. So we start at zero, so zero, one. So the first stage, we're gonna go into index one. So we're done with the first stage. Now we're gonna go to the second stage. So in the second stage, we are in this column two, or I guess index one, but two in real life. And in here, we're gonna decide which element we want. And again, we're gonna use index value. So you would think we would start at the top, right? Zero, one, two, and that would be that. However, remember the first line of text in CSV, TSV is actually ignored. So imagine like it's not even there. It's just labels for our columns. That's all that is. So we're gonna ignore that and we're gonna start with this first one here. So red would be zero and then one. So the text for stage two would be index one, zero, one. So again, let me kind of rewind. So the first stage, we pick the column and we decide it's gonna be index one, right? Zero, one. So we're done with that. And then in the second stage, we decided that this word blue lives in index one as well. So it's gonna be zero, one. So let's plug that in to our data value in here. And the first stage we said it was gonna be one and then comma, and the second stage is one as well. So now if I click away, we should be able to see blue in our composition here. So let's click away. And as you can see, that's what we see. So now we can go back to our text document in here and we can change this to something else like let's do red. So once I made my change, I can do control S and save it. And if I go back here, you can see it automatically changed it from blue to red. All right, well, this is the end of this daily tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you hit that like button, share this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as you subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell button. As always, we have an amazing community online at ukramedia.com slash community. It's totally free. You should definitely join. We have a lot of super talented people who are not only passionate about graphics and motion graphics and art and all that good stuff, but they're also very passionate about teaching others. So if you want to learn, if you want to teach others, you should definitely join the group. So ukramedia.com slash community. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.